Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to work on this stylized landscape material. So I have replaced, in, uh, previously I used only a color. Now in this one, I have replaced that color with a stylized uh, texture. There are two textures for the grass area and for the soil area, but you don't really see the grass area because it is covered with the grass. It's a green texture. Yeah, I can show it here like this. If I disable the grass, it's like this. So this is the grass area texture and this is the normal texture. And this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right. So first, let's import um, the textures that I have created, the tone textures that I have created into our project. I'll create, oh no, I don't need a folder. Right, so these are the two textures that I have created. Let me import them. While I import them, let me show them. So this is, uh, I'm going to use this texture for the ground. So it's uh, like a tone texture. And this is for the, this for the uh, brown area. And this is for the grassy area. Okay, they are imported here. Right, now let's open our landscape material. For now, I have only two colors. Let's import these two textures into our material. I think instead of calling this cell shaded, I should call this stylized. M landscape stylized. Because uh, stylized does not necessarily mean cell shaded. wrong wrong one actually this should be connected here instead of the top one I should connect this instead of B I should connect this and apply let's see how it looks does it look like a tone Effect. Not really. Actually, I think the details are too much. Yeah. Also, what about this grass area? Uh, let me get rid of the grass for now. So that I can clearly see only the ground. So I'll set this grass density to zero. Okay, this is not actually bad. Looks good. I see some tiling effect. Okay, maybe we should increase the size of the landscape. Um, uh, not the landscape, the size scaling of the texture. So, what can, where can I do that? Right here. Yeah, we can do the same setup. For this too. Here I'll call this texture tiling. Uh, 
and this is the landscape material instance let's power point on that's too much but this one Oh, this won't work. Yeah, maybe I should uh, go ahead and modify the texture. Right, so first I'll convert these two to parameters. I'll call this one cross texture and this one convert to parameter from texture oh it should be other way around cross now let's call it green this one must be Brown texture and here yeah I have imported another one let me use it wait for this one and for this one another texture this texture and apply let's see how it looks now okay I think it's much better now you can see it's more like a stylized grass a stylized landscape instead of a detailed landscape but you can see the tile in effect in the distance but uh, when we add the grass it should be okay let's see what was the density I had used here 300 right now let's see okay I think this is better good enough for my game Right now we need to replace these trees and rocks and other objects with uh, stylized objects and also I need to add some flowers with red flowers so any other color variation to this grass because it looks boring with the same color. Alright so I'm gonna do only the landscape texture changes in this episode and you can download these textures and this grass and this grass textures and everything uh, and my patreon so yeah except these three models which don't belong to me so okay and see you in the next episode goodbye also if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club Link would be in the description below.